Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we have the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. No, no, I'm IT Explosive One, and we are playing uh, the Doctor's in. Come hang out and find out why he died. Yep. Uh, I noticed that there was an X button that had a little explanation point next to it, and look at this Alderby footage. Yeah, let's footage watch pops that, up, dude. So let's see what, what that is. Nothing, of course. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? Him, God, the great old one, the elder God. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. However you address it. Listen to me, you're not listening. It's your only bloody job. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. God loves chaos. But something goes wrong. Man and woman evolve. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. Without chaos, he has less power. When there's too much order, he becomes impotent. So he needs to instill chaos again. And do you know how he does this? No. Viagra? <laughs> and yes, but you're being too granular. He needs chaos so he can return, and the only thing stopping him is you. Not just you. Uh, you and people like you. Psychiatrists, doctors, nurses. Anyone who is caring for people who are losing their sanity. You have no comprehension how important your job is, do you? He doesn't need your version of insanity to spread. He needs chaos. It's not the same. It's just a means to an end. They're not all cultists, unfortunately. Once you see the truth, it's hard not to spread chaos yourself, to cause further insanity and half your own. I doubt it. But can I make you question your reality? Definitely. But in doing so, I would be promoting more chaos. On the basis the central component of our universe is chaos, science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. As, by definition, chaos is unpredictable from one moment to the next. Uh -huh. Which means that at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. No matter how much chaos that would cause. In ten seconds time, there will be no gravity in this room and we will float. Three, two, one. You think nothing happened. Where's your glass, Doctor? <gasps> he did it, dude. Oh, dude. That's so crazy. Oh, okay. You know, okay. actually, what he said was kind of interesting because, like... What's that? We can choose to alter our perception of the world at any point, and, it, and depending how we choose to can cause a lot of chaos. That is the only thing that you can truly uh, change about about the world is the way you perceive things and the way that you react to them. And in the in, right, exactly. And it's like it's interesting because like that can go with anything. Like you know, like you're like, hey, I all of a sudden, you know, I perceive that this person in my life is no longer a benefit to me at this moment, and now I'm just going to choose to move forward without them. And you're like, their life sh changes, your life changes, like, yeah, different things. You, it's like, wow. You can be like, uh, you know what? I choose to not like McDonald's anymore. And I choose to uh, change the way that I perceive vegetables. Yeah. I choose to perceive fast food as poison, and I'll never eat it again. There you go. You know, yeah, That's hey, man. The only, only things we can control in That's life, That's deep, man. dude. This game is deep, dude. In yeah. some ways, that, that was a little bit uh, long and pretentious. I'm not. Oh yeah, lie. yeah, yeah. No, I was just being. All right, yes. so we did Lacey already. Um, we still don't know. Haven't heard anything about Agnes. She's done. Jasmine's done. Bryce is. Oh yeah, you wanted to go to the done. promiscuous girl last yeah, time. Yeah, promiscuous yeah, let's, let's fit girl. Let's her in real quick. All right. Uh, what can you tell me about Doctor Decker? How are you today? I haven't been back to the beach since our last session, and. No blackouts. Aw, that's really nice. New doctor and new hope. You're much better behaved than Dr. Decker. Whoa, did Dr. Decker try to bang you? And I, you know, I, I wouldn't put it past him, nor would I blame him. <laughs> yeah, right? I feel Dr. Decker is a... Uh, yeah, oh yeah, why am I better behaved? There we go. I want to get to the root cause of this. Dr. Decker dated his patients. Oh. That's not good behavior. Oh, hell no, it's not. It? That's also illegal. 
I mean, immoral. Yeah, I think. He, I mean, I think he could lose his license for that. Yeah, which uh, patients did he date? Yeah, yeah, Me yeah, for yeah. one. <laughs> I think her name was Scarlet. This is good information. One of his patients, an older woman. Okay. I guess that's how he liked them. Oh, she's she's upset that Doctor Decker wouldn't bang her. Yeah, right. Yeah. So what? Doctor's a freaking gilf hunter. A gilf hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did you feel not going? Or right, let's see. Uh, let's ask her what else about Doctor Decker. He went out for drinks, didn't you know? No, I didn't. He said it was a breach of something or the other, but I can be pretty persuasive when I want to be. This is what I want to get into. She's like, I won't tell anyone. What the hell? Did you just go out for drinks, or was there more? Were you lying about drinking? About not drinking. Yeah, let's ask her if yeah. we just went out for drinks. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. It was Valentine's Day. Oh. A drink on special oh. occasions. It was Valentine's Day. Were you lying about... Let's me? ask her what she was doing on Valentine's Day. What were you doing on Valentine's Day? I was Day? with Dr. Decker until about... Nine o'clock. Mm. I remember getting an Uber. It was expensive, and the driver was annoying. I saw one of your patients, actually, the nurse, when we drove by the pier. She was with someone. I don't think she saw me. Oh, so the nurse was on the pier. Yeah, so that's he's talking about Elaine or yeah, Ellen. Okay. All right. Well, let's see your well, let's see your Uber I mean. app to prove that you actually did. <laughs> right. Yeah, Big but, facts, really. Yeah. How are you persuading? Oh, yeah, there we go. I know. It's pretty hard to believe, isn't it? I feel pretty ugly. That's how you're Do persuasive. I, think I have a nice smile. That's how she's persuasive. Uh, Bye. You're not ugly. Um, yeah, let's just say she's yeah, not ugly. Yeah, let's just go with it. Lots of people find me attractive, but I've seen something. Truly beautiful. Makes me feel dull by comparison. Oh, oh, so she doesn't think she's beautiful because she's seen something more beautiful than she perceives yeah. herself what, as. What, what thing have you seen, lady? I have a recurring dream where I find something beautiful in the sea. But I don't know you that well yet, Doctor. Let's wait a while before I tell you my most. Intimate secrets. Yeah, intimate. Sorry to cut in, Doctor. I've just had a phone call from a solicitor. Ben's trying to sue us for nervous shock. Should I go and see him to talk it out, or should I find a solicitor to represent us? Sorry to be pushy. I just think we should act quickly before it's too late. Ben Shapiro? Let me know. What? She just busts in the middle of a session and says that? I know, right? Uh, is she even Jaya? Oh, there we go. I guess, I guess we need to... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess we ought to handle the yeah. Ben issue. Yeah, yeah, we might as well, yeah. Yep. Um, tell me about Ben. So, should I get a solicitor, or shall we try and talk it out with a him? A solicitor? Oh, a lawyer? I guess. Yeah, if, no, get a solicitor. Dude, if he's suing us, he already has a lawyer, and we're just going to go chat with him and, like... Ben was the only person that was there for the murder. He he's found the, the body. Who, he's the one who found it. If we get an opportunity to talk to him, maybe we can find out more information that we'll Oh, need. that's true, I guess. I didn't even think about them. Pull yeah, might as well... Oh. Yeah, let's try and talk it out. Good choice. I'll go and see Ben to see if I can get him to call off the dogs. I have no idea what's gotten into him. Perhaps it's his mom. All right, cool. I feel like that's handled for now. Oh, who had a session on Valentine's Day? Oh, that's a good that's a good point. On Valentine's Day, Dr. Decker had a session with Claire Castleford at eleven and that nurse Elin at three. Everyone else cancelled. You should see this place Christmas Eve. All right. I was at home though, so I don't actually know who came in. Dr. Decker did phone and ask me for Nathan's number. Which is a bit strange. Huh. Okay. okay. So he did see Elon. We also... Who's know, Claire? 
we don't know. Are we do we know Claire? We do know Claire. Okay, so we haven't talked to either one of them. Yeah, yet. we okay. need Claire has violence issues. Elon is the angel of death at her nursing facility. Yeah, so. well, and he saw her after she saw Claire, and he was out with what's her face at nine. Yeah, so he saw both of those patients. B- and then went out with what's her face. So they didn't kill him then, but someone killed him between yeah. when they were in the Uber. Yeah, and, both, and Elon was on the pier with somebody else. Yeah, both of them are very, very strong possibilities. Let's continue with Mariana, though. Sorry about the, uh, what do you mean? Intimate, intimate secrets. Let's get back on your intimate yeah, secrets. Yeah, yeah, right? Wouldn't you like to know? Is our session up now? <laughs> I, I knew she wasn't going like to I knew know. she wasn't going to like that. All right. Uh, why did you have drinks with Dr. Decker? Were you lying about not drinking? Or why did you have drinks with Dr. Decker? I should say, yeah, yeah, we went out right. for Valentine's Day. Neither of us had dates. So I just suggested we go out together. You know, rather than just sit in with nothing to do. He'd been acting a bit strange anyway. And I thought he could do with a break. Okay. Okay. Uh, were you lying about not drinking? I don't drink. Only sometimes. Like a, a social drinker. Oh. Like my. a social smoker. They don't smoke either. Wow. With a smile on your face, you freaking piece of lying trash. All right. See? And I knew back in the first uh, bout of these episodes that we did that she was lying about. Oh, that. yeah, dude. She's a liar. Yeah. All right. So. I haven't been back to the beach since our last session. Kind of missed it. I mean, but you're not blacking out. Right. That's right. usually the... Like, are you going to, like, a beach with, like, right next to a uh, nuclear power plant? <laughs> <laughs> Why have you missed the beach? If you do something a lot, you're going to miss it. I suspect I'll go back there soon, but it's helped with the blackouts. All right. I mean, sounds like you've discovered the problem. Cool. Well, I guess we'll get uh, more into this oh, on the next one, man. We, we got a whole slew. She slew. was seeing them, dude. Yeah. Let me at least ask this question before we end it. I just want to know. Oh, were you seeing him? Yeah, yeah, Were yeah, you yeah. seeing Dr. Decker? People are quick to put labels on everything. I suppose Dr. Decker was more than just a therapist to me. We had a lot of things in common, but we weren't seeing each other. Okay. All right. I believe All that. right. Well, that's all time that. we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you've done that, hit that notification bell. For Jonas. TNT. We uh, is uh, out. Uh.